Mushtaq Ahmad. So that was the apprehension which decided um, um, Vivi Richards to bat first. True, and now we pick up action from the very first over. Akram, the most effective of the new ball bowlers against Haynes, who's been full of runs in the last two matches. Or down the leg side, taken on the full and beautifully driven past mid wicket. First effective sign of aggression from Haynes. A slow start for the West Indies in the 10th over, 15 without loss. That's a magnificent shot from Haynes, a great shot. Cover driven for four. Haynes trying to break the shackles being imposed on him and on Simmons by the West Indian, by the Pakistan bowlers. Swept away, backward of square, the fielder there has no chance. Haynes now 22. Haynes getting after Raza. Oh, Simmons not all that short, but Simmons very effectively pulling him down to mid wicket. Mushtaq in chase. That's a fine save by Mushtaq. Three to Simmons. Simmons 11, West Indies 47 without loss. Oh, that's the profitable one day stroke. The nudge to third man is single and West Indies now 50. Kadir the fielder. That's well bowled. Well played too. Just turning the, the wrist and allowing the ball to go along with the face of the bat. Fine third man for four runs. Simmons taking a little time to settle down. Oh, and he's beaten outside the off stump, going for the square cut. Watch that again, Akib Javed, not all that short, and the ball coming into Simmons slightly. Oh, that's firmly struck, four runs. Kadir had no chance there. And this time it's a huge hit, six runs, six to Simmons. Mushtaq trying to lure him into an indiscretion, but Simmons striking very cleanly. Down the pitch and he's laughed at it. Man getting underneath it. Yes, he's out. Caught. Ijaz is there at deep mid, wide mid wicket. And the first West Indian wicket falls. Simmons caught Ijaz. Gold Mushtaq for 40 and the West Indies in the 22nd over are 83 for one. Let's watch that again. Simmons was down the track again. This time Mushtaq dropped it a bit shorter and Simmons putting it up into the air, unable to clear the fielder or the fence. Ajaz finally judged, his hands cupped. 27th over. Haynes, perfect timing, beautiful shot, minimum of effort, promptly dispatched to the mid-wicket fence. And Richardson, that's a fine shot. Past the cover fielders there, they're completely stranded, no one could move. 101 for one West Indies. And Haynes, the dab down to third man. Shot of a man in form, 106 for one now, an expensive over from Kadir. Oh, that's a fine shot from Richardson, leaning back and the ball was spinning away from him. He made, in fact, more room than he wanted, really. Nicely played for the single. That's Haynes 50 and West Indies 112 for one. A fine innings from Haynes.
He's been in tremendous form, taking over the mantle from Richardson, who scored in the early matches. Oh, that's up. Powerfully struck. Nothing can really get in the way of that sort of ball. 122 for one, Richardson in fine fettle. Simmons, the man out for 40. Got it now to Haynes. Or straying down the leg side and Haynes giving it a gentle pat, helping it along to the fine leg fence. West Indies a good keeper at Chicha, please. Oh, that's imperiously dispatched by Haynes. Magnificent shot. Beautiful extra cover drive. And this time Haynes placing it very fine. Mushtaq won't get to it. Four runs. Down to third man. Kadir proving very expensive. Not able to hit the right length. After pitching and taking uh, pitching out on or about the off middle and straightening and hitting the off stump, a bowl indeed. And the Pakistan cricketers absolutely jumped. This, this was kind of success that they needed at this stage. A perfect length. Which is just going back and look at the ball straightening up, missing the outside edge of the bat and just clipping that off stump. Well and truly beaten. For bowl indeed. Another angle. Still just missing his outside edge and missing his pad and hitting that off stuff. Richards hasn't been in the runs in this series. No doubt wants to write the balance now. Raza to him. Push the batsman Richards. Nicely on driven. Four runs. Down the wicket and powerfully struck. Picked up very early, going through with the shot. 144 for two West Indies. Smashing that either pitching shot and which is laying back and smashing it to mid, mid wicket for four runs. And this is vintage Richards. Quicker one, which is not able to time that leg by. Imran Khan coming into the attack. Richards high in the air, going for the big hit. Miscued and a fine catch by Mushtaq. Even Richards' miss hits carry a great deal. Mushtaq taking that very low. Dujon facing Imran. Oh, a fine shot. Four runs. Mushtaq has not been able to hit the right length. Pura there, Pura there. Leg buys, in fact. Flicked away off the pads. Qadir. Haynes goes up to 82. That's outside the leg stump, glanced away. Akram won't stop it, four runs. Single picked up by Haynes off Mushtaq's first ball of the next over to Salim Malik. That's sure, that's pulled away. Ijaz losing complete sight of that ball, moved the other way. It actually went between mid wicket and mid on. I think Ijaz was unsighted by that crowd. And it was ultimately Akram Raza from mid on who had to run and get that. So four more. Again, short again. 
That's been pulled if Akram Raza won't stop it for us. Imran to Dusha. Not at all well kept by Amir Malik. He snatched at it and gave away four buys. That's in the air. Getting underneath and holding on to that catch is Abdul Qadir and the West Indies have lost the fourth wicket, that of Jeffrey Dujo. 46 over now and Logi over the heads of the infielders, fine shot deliberately played in the air, 233 to 4 and the slog over is well and truly on. Logi drives, that's a fine shot and Raza, I think, diving a little too soon for runs. The fielder wide at mid-off, 237 for four. Oh, what a shot, walking out to Imran and from outside the off stump, pulling him round to back of the square. Single to Haynes, he's 95. Logi 14, 244, 4. Uh, out. Hot shot. Bold in run. Logi making 14 of just 7 balls. And departing in the 47th over. 244 for 5, you're probably going to have a score of around 265 or so. Watch the replay, Imran bowls from fairly close to the stumps. Logi comes onto the front foot and is unable to keep the ball along the ground, playing perhaps a shade too early, and Shoaib accepts a very comfortable catch at extra cover. Akram to Marshall, makes room for himself, Marshall, uh, moving away to the onside. Driven through the covers, four runs, 2.52 to 5. In run. Oh, and Marshall making too much room, unable to reach the ball. Full toss. Marshall drives him over the head of uh, the mid-off there. Last over of the innings, Akram going to Haynes and a magnificent extra cover drive by Haynes and that's his 100, his 1600 more than anyone else in one day competitions. And what a shot to reach it with. been quite a tangle trying to keep out that Yorker. Marshall bangs it away on the onside. Oh, and that's another fine shot, this time the off drive, beautifully placed to the left of the mid-off fielder. Haynes really in great form. Four buys there, I think. Yes, and West Indies finish now at 273 for five. Haynes unbeaten with 107. Akib not for 25, Akram not for 46, his figures point in that last over. Mushtaq and Kadir fairly expensive and for West Indies, Haynes 107. Amir Malik and Ramiz Raja opening for Pakistan. Fast cover, Robert Haynes in chase, I don't think he'll get to it. No, just inside the fence, that's a fine stop. 
three runs and Pakistan are now four without loss. Oh, beaten. Ramiz Raja on the forward stroke. Almost from the bootstraps. Benjamin now to Ramiz Raja. So that's a oh, fine right. drive. Four runs. Raja now five in Pakistan, 13 for one. That's a nice shot and placed very well between the two fielders there. Four runs. Raja on nine, stroking very fluently. Benjamin coming in for some punishment. It's nicely given Marshall in the way at McDonald's single. Well, that's a fine improvisation at the last minute, checking his shot. Should fetch him four runs, yes, to the square leg fence. 29 for one Pakistan and Ajaz joining in the fray. Just a single. Haynes. In the end, it should be four. Artisan coming in as substitute for Marshall. Futile exercise. He cannot cut that off. Struck the meat of the bat for four runs. That's the check, speed check, 140 kph. Attempt of Yorker. Blow ball at that and. Raja latching onto it like a flash through the covers for four rounds. Four rounds. Pakistan really in the chase, not letting the scoring get down. And the batsmen in consultation constantly with each other. Simmons, the fielder. Raja gets a single. He's 26. Oh, that's a fine shot. Eja is not quite able to get hold of that one, but nevertheless pulling him away. Eja is 15 and 46 for one in Pakistan. Marshall. Nicely played off his legs. Oh, and Haynes helping the ball to cross the fence with his momentum, trying to stop it. Oh, that's a stylish shot past the cover fielder. That should be four. Raja flowing strokes from his blade today. Bad from Raja. Ball going straight. A bit of extra bounce. I think he was expecting that ball to cut back a little more. He played inside the line. Lucky he didn't get an outside edge. Pakistan reached 64 for the loss of Amir Malik's wicket. Walsh to Raja. Raja drives up his and that's a fantastic catch by Logi. Parallel to the ground. Raja driving there a little uppishly. And what a great fieldsman Logi has turned out to be for the West Indies. Raja gone for 35, 65 for 2. There's Walsh slanting the ball in and Ramiz Raja playing wristily away, failing to keep the ball along the ground and at mid-wicket, a brilliant diving catch fully stretched to his right, inches from the ground, is taken by Gus Logi. Marshall now to Miyadar. Oh, Miyadar said jab down to third man it's a profitable stroke but it has proved fatal on more than one occasion a wide outside the off stump and Ajaz takes the full of advantage thumped away for four runs 74 for two in 13 overs and 
it and the up is going to be four runs. Team Zoon cut it off. That's a good shot. Chance of a run out there? No, Richard's aiming with only one stump. Nyadad reaches home. Watch how that happened. Ajaz turning the face of the blade and pushing it down towards Richard's at point. Miyadad, a great negotiator, a, a great rotator of the strike with his quick fingers. That's the hundred of the Pakistan side up with that single down to Robert Haynes. The jazz goes up to 42. The hundred coming in 19.2 overs. Benjamin to a jazz. So, going through the shot, hitting it on the up, on the rise, superbly fine shot. Benjamin again. Ajaz well, not quite able to get it where he wanted, but uh, a single marshal is fairly deep, and Ajaz completes his 50. His first big score of this series. That's a fine innings from Ajaz. Oh, that's a bad ball outside the off stump, but Mia, that's gone. Caught by Richard. That ball was very far outside the off stump, and Mia, that's flashing at it. Richard bringing off a fine catch. Watch that ball, how far it was outside the off stump. Mia, that's having to really reach for it, and Richard diving to his right. Swept very fine. Bayajal, four runs, B54, and Pakistan, 116 for three. Oh, that ball came in very sharply. Benjamin dug it in short, and Ajaz in trouble there. If you see that again, Benjamin digging that in, but uh, hitting him around the midriff. A nicely glanced, very well played off his toes by Salim Malik, 124 for 3 Pakistan. Richards the fielder, and oh no, Haynes from point blank range misses. That could have been very close for him. And about roughly 143 and 25, 146 runs to get. That's four runs, wide, go wide. It's Benjamin. And Logie, and he's out, he's gone. Quite needlessly too, because he hit it straight to Logie, and Logie is feeling so marvelously. They see it again, off. Rocking onto the back foot, forcing it into the covers. He takes off without looking at the batsman, his partner. And look at that. Logie just sending that return without any fuss or hurry, and Dujon does the rest. And he's yards and yards. He's still not in the picture. Benjamin now to Salim Malik. Oh, that's a lovely cover drive from Malik. Elegantly played. 450 position, copy book shot. 142 for 4 in 26 overs. Short and cut away by Malik. That's 4. Three leg spinners playing in this match. Two is for Pakistan and Haynes now for West Indies. Blighted. Malik drives, that's another 4. Malik in full flow. That's high up in the air, that was a slow delivery and Salim Malik picking up six runs. He was aiming to hit it wide of mid-wicket. Didn't get it where he wanted, but what is more important, he got it 
over the boundary rocks and picked up six runs. Watch the replay. He's 49 of just 35 balls, 184 for four. The 30 second over Walsh is going to Kelly Mullet. That's his 50, Richard can't stop it. Down to third man, Benjamin the fielder. Another superb knock by Salim Malik. What a run he's been having right from Sharjah. Ambrose again. As fast as diving the wicket fielder, Richard Richardson, that'll go for four. It's a very fast outfield. Ambrose trying to York. Imran and Imran playing it well through mid wicket, picking up four runs. He's 18. That's leg glance, Marshall should be able to stop it. He does with his boot. Back can pick up two runs. Salim Malik 56 and the 200 is up on the board. Run the ball down and the appeal was unjustified because the ball was in any case missing the leg stump. Marshall now to Reza. Oh, nicely turned round the corner. Four runs. 233 for five. Pakistan. That's a fine shot from him. Run square of the wicket on the offside. The fielder in chase. Can't get to it. Run cut. And Pakistan drawing closer. Bad miscalculation by Richards. He's calling the last over in a full toss to Imran. Imran again a full toss, Imran drives and just beyond the reach of Walsh they go in for the second and Raza's run out Raza gone unable to complete the second run the ball dropping out of Walsh's hands but Walsh recovering well enough watch that again a full toss, Imran is down the track driving to be down there's Walsh stationed there he's not able to get hold of the ball recovers fast enough that misfield, I think, tempting the batsman to go in for the second run, but a direct hit and Raza gone. Three runs required, two balls remaining, and a lot of nails here at the Eden Gardens already gone. The man in Wasi Makram. And that's six! And that settles the issue for Pakistan in a very conclusive manner. So Pakistan win the Nehru Cup. That's a great win for Pakistan. Pakistan home by four wickets. Inspired leadership, great batting. Imran Khan proudly holding a lost the Nehru Cup. A double success for Pakistan this season and a richly deserved one to it. Yeah. 
So the drama of the last fortnight has ended. The curtain has fallen. The MRF series for the Jawaharlal Nehru Cup reached a nail-biting finish at the Eden Gardens today, with Pakistan just about making it home. The nail-biting finish, of course, representing and epitomizing the best of cricket and the spirit in which this competition has been played right through. In the end, perhaps, one is left with the thought that Pakistan, among other things, made it because of a tactical miscalculation on the part of his rival captain, Vivian Richards, who found himself bowling the last crucial over with only a few runs required by Pakistan. However, Pakistan's win was richly deserved, confirming as it did its status as the top one-day team in the world today, certainly the most balanced. We've enjoyed bringing you this series of highlights, and we hope you have enjoyed the cricket. But before we sign off for the last time, let's just recapture once more Pakistan's final moment of magic. Remember the situation. Only two balls were left, three runs were required, and Wasim Akram was facing his run. And that's six. And that settles the issue for Pakistan in a very conclusive manner. So Pakistan win the Nehru Cup. That's a great win for Pakistan. Pakistan home by four wickets.